Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to this week's Dyes Shorts. And I have a couple things to share with you. I'm going to be showing you the projects for the um, This Birthday Piggy Bundle Class in the Mail Kit. And that is a class for November. And I've had the sign up going on for a while now. And I don't want you to miss out, so I'm going to show you the projects for that because um, it is while supplies last and it is for USA only because I can only send within the USA. I also um, showed a super cute card the other day with the um, moose and I said if you wanted me to show you the puff paint, let me know. And I did. I had people say, yeah, show it. So I'm going to show that as well. So that'll be the couple things um, that I will show today. So if you are brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. And I come live on Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays. And I will be watching um, live with you off to the side in the chat. So you, if you have any questions, um, just let me know and I'll answer them in there. If you're watching later, and um, you don't see the chat, you're probably watching the replay, just leave a question or a comment in the comments and YouTube will let me know that you left a message so I can respond to you. If you've been here before, welcome back and you know exactly what's going on today for the dyes shorts. They're usually just a, a shorter video, usually, not always. <laughs> I think last week was super long, but, um, but today should be pretty quick. Um, so that you can um, get back to your regular Friday afternoon, whatever you're going to do for Friday. So I'm going to stop blabbing. Close your eyes for a second while I adjust the camera. I try to do super quick so it's not too bad. All right. So let me show the um, class in the mail stuff first. All right, so this is the birthday, this birthday piggy, and there's a matching die, the playful piggy dies. So this is a bundle. So you can get this two different ways. So you can get it as a bundle, and it's $80, and that includes the projects that I'm going to show you in a minute, the supplies to make the projects, the, um, the, uh, other stuff I'm going to show you and the priority postage and all that kind of stuff. All right. So you have two choices. You have $80 of the bundle. So you get the stamp set and the die and then the stuff I'm going to show, or you might already have the stamp set, but you need the die. So then I have a price where it's just the die and that's 62. And then it includes everything I'm going to show. And that is USA only. Um, so, so yeah, so those are your, your two choices. If you want to do the class and you have these items, you can substitute out, but it has to be the same value because, um, you know, just to cover everything. But just so you know, you need both of these to finish to your projects because nothing's stamped, nothing is die cut it out. You're going to need that. Um, so keep that in mind. All right. <clears throat> so let me show you your projects. All right. So not only do you get the stamp set in the die, you also get um, a pack of the solid faceted gems. And then these are the cute little projects. So the first one is this right here. It's a little notebook that you can um, keep notes or I have it kind of set up as like a grocery grocery list and you have your little you're getting your little um, pencil with the little cupcake um, eraser on there so this is one of the projects that you will make and then I just made this on my computer this little little, little saying there that this little piggy went to market so this little piggy is going to the grocery store so that's one of the projects you'll be making this one here so there's actually four cards the little notebook those so there's five projects in total so there's this cute little card here and see how fun this is that little die there put is the little um handkerchief around the um pig and this is a die that's part of it as well now these um circles and the 
scallop circles, those will be in your packet because they're not part of the piggy die. So if I use um, a die, like for instance, these clouds, that's not part of the piggy die. So those will be in your packet. Um, same with this one here. But anything that comes in the piggy die, like the things that cut out this little pig, this cuts out, this cuts out the die. Those you will do on your own because you'll have your die. There's a fun little happy, happy birthday with this little piggy. Sometimes I put stuff on the inside, sometimes I don't, uh, stamping wise. This one I left it plain. So just like before, like this is not part of the piggy die, so this will be in there for you to use. The same with the little scallop here. So all those pieces will be in there. Now here you can see those pretty gems being used on the card. So look at this fun one. So that's another one of the cards you'll be doing. And then you can see the bling used on there as well. So this little wagon is part of the piggy die in this one. So so just so you know that's what you need. This one might have be might be my favorite. And this is actually a slider card. So he goes wee and he slides across that card. I love that one. So that's the last project. And then on the inside, you have the cute little piggy. So again, if you want the whole bundle, so this would be your class. And that is 80 for the bundle. And then that includes the priority postage, all the supplies that you need, the, um, there's a PDF with close up pictures and a supply list. And then there's will be a private video. And then I make the projects on the video and then you can watch them at your leisure at home in your pajamas if you want and make your cards along with me with the private YouTube video. And again, if you have the stamp set and you just need the dies, then your, that cost is only 62. And then, you know, you'll just get the die because you already had the stamp set. So if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out to me because it is while supplies last only. And then um, these will go out the end of November is when I will send out these class packets. So don't miss out because these are so cute. I had so much fun coming up with these projects and I can't wait. Um, I can't wait, you know. To do, to do the class with you in in the um, in the mail. All right, so let's get back to the cute little. Let me get my grid sheet here. So here is a little moose that I colored, and we're gonna put because the other day I just did him plain. And this was that double easel card that I showed on Tuesday. So this one was plain, but this one. I put the puff paint so it looked like he was in the snow. So I wanted to do that to this guy. And you kind of want to do it before he's um, glued down because it can tweak the paper a little bit. So this is the Snowfall Accents puff paint. So you're just going to want to, you know, give it a shake. I have my heat gun heated up um, off to the side. And you don't want a lot. Like you don't want it to be oozy. So I just kind of like started off, you know, off the page and then I don't squeeze it hard. I just barely squeeze it and I just kind of let it come out just nice and easy because you don't want it really, really thick. So I'm just barely squeezing it. So we're just going to put some snow like there would be, you know, snow around the hat and we'll put it so that he's standing in the snow so let's put some snow drifts but like I said I'm not you just don't want tons you can always add a little more if you want all right so that looks that looks pretty good now I'm going to take my tweezers so these are the tweezers that come with the um the tray and the um oh my gosh i'm like looking at it where it won't stick 
your your embossing buddy. Oh, I always forget the name. Okay, so I have my heat gun. Now there's a one and a two. So you can do it. Let's start with the one and see if that is hot enough. So it just a it's just a little less temperature. So let's try the one and see how it does. Because you want it to cook it. So I think I'm going to go with the two and see how that see how that happens all right so let's do the two and then what it does is it just cooks and puffs up that um puff paint is it called paint where's my thing is it called paint it is puff paint all right let's go back to the heat gum <laughs> all right so let's get back to this so i'm just i'm kind of moving it around you can go from underneath to you just don't want to cook your paper, so just kind of move it around a little bit. And then you can start to see it changing. You see how now that's puffing up? And we can always add more, but it's better to do smaller amounts than too thick. So you can see that changing. Can you see that puffing up? So it takes on a little bit of that. Um, remember I colored it with the pool party? Um, whatchamacallit? With the water, my water painter and my ink pad. So it takes on a little bit of that blue because of that. So if I were to do more of these, I probably might not put that down there so it doesn't have that blue tint to it, but it's not that big of a deal. All right. So that looks pretty good. And then if you want it to be more thicker, like, um, so let me show you the other one. So see how, so now he's standing in the snow, let me scoot down. A little bit try to get it to focus it wants to focus underneath so there's the snow so this one I put it on thicker but I love the look of it and it just looks so fun with that snow on on his antlers and He's standing in the snow. And like I said, you could add more if you wanted to put a little more like in his feet. So he's like really in the snow. Not just, oop, that might've been a little bit too much. Let's see. We'll see if I added too much now. Let's see. Less is more, right? Okay, so let's get this back and see. So I got my Stampin' Up! heat gun out because I had been using my old one that Stampin' Up! used to carry and I'm like, I need to dig out the, um, like this is the one that's in the catalog and it has the, the two, like the two, um, like the off and then the lower speed and the higher speed and the black one doesn't have that. And this one is a lot quieter. All right, so let's see how that looks. So have his feet really in the snow now. I think I like that even better. So I don't want to cover his feet fully because I still want to see his feet. So that looks good. All right. Then let me unplug. Unplug. Um. Never leave that plugged in. All right, and what I do is I have, I don't know if I can, if it will reach. Hang on a minute. Let me show you what I have on here. I have on the plug, I have just 
stapled heat gun. It's not, you know, on the plug. I mean, it's not stapled to the plug. It's just this thing. So I can tell like which plug means what when I plug it into my extension cord. And then I can just look at my extension cord and I can see, okay, that's the heat gun is unplugged. So that just makes it a little easier um, to keep track of that. All right. So let's see. So that looks cuter, right? With his feet more in the snow. So anyways, so let's just finish the card and then I'll let you go. So I'm so glad that you wanted to see that because it is super cute. All right, so we glued, we put this on the other day. So again, just on the bottom and over here. So remember, just like I did the other day. So now this card will be finished. So I will have a card to send to somebody. And that snow just looks so cute. And then we'll put our greeting. You're the coolest. I just made it with that snow. There we go. But look how fun. So now he's standing in the snow. So I think that makes it look so much cuter, I think. All right, so let me say see you later, alligator. Have a good weekend. Um, so yeah, so thanks so much for um, wanting to see the um, puff paint. That was that was a quick, that wasn't even, I wasn't even 20 minutes. So that's, that's very good. All right, so if you have any questions in regards to the class, make sure you let me know. Um, any other things you want me to show on any of my videos, reach out to me. If there's something that um, you're not sure about in the catalog, as long as I have it, um, I can show it. If it's something I don't have, then I, I won't be able to. But So um, have a good weekend. I will see you Monday for my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. And, um, and that's the last day of October. So if you are thinking about getting that starter kit, Monday is the last day. And um, I have welcome packs to go out. Some are going out tomorrow, so yours is waiting for you. If you um, are interested in joining my team, make sure you let me know um, because I would love to have you as a member of my Dyes Country Inkers. And um, so let me know if you have any questions in regards to that. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing. Have a great weekend, and I will see you Monday, 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for spending time with me this week. I appreciate it. Bye for now.